back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Uh, today we have a mail call. I've uh, picked up a couple of uh, eBay wins and some stuff uh, through a guy, through a Facebook group actually. Um, so I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing video. Um, I generally don't do a lot of mail calls because obviously you know, I don't generally buy a lot. Um, off eBay and things like that, but you know, occasionally I will. Um, but yeah, so just thought I'd do yeah, a little bit of a video to show you what I got. And I know in this particular box here, there is a major key. And uh, yeah, I know it's going. I know it's a bit of a rough copy, but I just wanted the book, particularly for me. And yeah, I'm just glad that I was finally able to get one, especially seen there's some real hype around it and there has been some hype for about the last 12 months uh, about this particular character I'm glad I actually was able to pick this book up so let's get stuck into it so we'll do this one first um, this is a uh, pick up through a guy I met in uh, one of the Facebook comic book groups um, I do love when uh, people do take the extra care and you know, write the do not bends and the fragiles and all that sort of stuff. Get into this. Yeah, I need to start getting back into buying my older books. Uh, not focusing too much on the, because I've been spending a lot of money on newer books lately, so. Get back to the passion. Older books. It's got the, uh, Pull tabs on it, which is good. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So that. Oh, more pull tabs. So this is um, some old Man Thing books, actually. It, Man Thing's just one of those characters, just a really cool, sort of creepy character. Um, these are all sort of your Bronze Age sort of stuff. So what do we got first? Adventure into Fear number eighteen. Man Thing. I do that without the glare as much as possible. A really cool cover there. Okay, so that was Adventure into Fear. The other ones are actually Man Thing books themselves. So you got Man Thing number 16, Death of a Legend. So he's fighting some axe wielding barbarian or something there. That's a really cool cover. Uh, we got Man Thing number 21. Lunatic on every corner. A really cool old Man Thing book there. And the Man Thing number 22. Is this the day the Man Thing dies? Really, really cool old Man Thing books there. Really great. Glad I, I grabbed some of those. All right, now let's get into this box. Now this was an eBay auction. And basically had um, it, it, to, to the untrained eye, it would look like a bunch of random books, um, but they have a theme. Random issues, yes. But, uh, yeah, as I said, all with a theme, with a particular character in mind. Yeah, what do I get? Oh, another one. Yep, that's all in there. Safety first, obviously. Close that up. Okay, a very cool looking box, actually. May or may not keep that. 
I don't send out much stuff, so. Now, I know this was pictured on Facebook as they weren't bagged and boarded, so I don't know whether he's actually bagged and boarded these. But in saying that, he has wrapped them quite well. So I eventually get into it. Yeah, it looks like they're bagged and boarded. Okay. Thing is the uh, the older box are bagged but not boarded. But yes, you'll uh, you'll see once I get into the box what the actual theme is. Now, Moon Knight. That actually feels very thick. Yeah, Moon Knight number one. I think that's the 2014 series. Uh, that was the yeah the Warren Ellis and. Declan Shelby series. So I don't know whether it's a key issue or not. Um, but still, yeah, pretty cool book to own. As I said, there's a theme. So obviously you can tell already what the theme is. Um, what else have we got here? Yeah, so this is not bagged or boarded, but West Coast Avengers number 21. Now I actually got a feeling that's a key, because I think this is the first time that Moon Knight actually joins the West Coast Avengers, if I'm not mistaken. You can tell me if I'm wrong or whatever the key happens to be in this particular book. So that was still a cool book to pick up. Uh, so Moon Knight, now this must have been a mini-series. It looks like probably 80s, maybe 90s. Like 80s or 90s, but yeah, Moon Knight. Only one book in there, I think. Yep, one of four. Pretty cool looking cover there. Don't know who did, who did the cover on that. Yeah, not sure, but yeah, still pretty, really nice, cool book. Now it's a slightly bigger book. Now this is obviously a lot rough, but. As I said, I'm not fussed by a book being rough. As long as I have the book in my collection for my personal entertainment, that's all I want. So, Werewolf by Night, 33. So this, from my knowledge, is the second appearance of Moon Knight. So obviously when you can't afford the big books, um, sometimes the second appearance or the third or the fourth appearance is just as good a book to own. Yeah, so there's Werewolf by Night, 33, second appearance of Moon Knight. So, here is the big book. I've been wanting this book for a while. I should have jumped on it years ago when I had a chance, but I didn't get a... Uh, this was in the back of my mind, too busy collecting spideys or anything else, and I wasn't able to get it. But now finally own it. Finally glad I've got this. Now if I had the little clip that I'd, I'd love to play on, on this particular video of my good mate and brother Remy Q Studios, it would be yeah! boom like that and the whole thing would shake but obviously I don't have that. So it is Werewolf by Night. The first appearance of Moon Knight. Can't believe I actually own this book. Finally own this book. So that yeah, that whole lot was in a uh, was in a is in a thing. And as you can see, like it's really rough. You know, you got that big sort of chunk taken out there and stuff like that. And there's those massive creases going across, but I don't care. I have the book, it's mine. Yeah! That's the way to do it. So, yes. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got this book. I'm so happy. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of books like like this one that I really want. I can't necessarily afford or have the opportunity to get, but I'm glad I at least got this one. And it's all about timing. Timing, 
luck and having the money at the time. Yes. So that's it. I'm glad I got that. And all the rest were cool books too. So, that is it. Thank you again for tuning in to this video. Um, yeah, I'll have some more stuff hopefully coming up. I do have a uh, pop vinyl haul that I have to do. I was actually gonna do this first, but that second box turned up today and I thought I have to open it, I have to do it today, I have to do it now. So, once again, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do all that awesome stuff. It'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and Spidey out. Yeah.